Hey, Shadow Tomb Raider is released. Mm, maybe I should get a graphics card to play the game. Uh, let's get a 1063 gigabyte edition. Huh, that seems pretty quite cheap. Let's search that one PV tag. Oh, what the fuck is that? $400 for a 1060? What is this? Look how freaking eBay. They sell for like half the price. Like, what the fuck is this country? This country sucks, guys. New Zealand, just go fuck yourself. Why am I here? This country puts up 50% margin on literally every tech product they sell. Yeah, it's bullshit. So, extreme situation calls for extreme solution. So what you gotta do is find a product called the R9 288. This is the holy grail graphics card for performance put on. Show you guys how just how capable this card is, I benchmarked 5 games, and all of them got around 50 FPS on Ultra City, which is exactly like what the GTX 1060 3GB edition would do. Now I'm just gonna go over the setting for this benchmark. <clears throat> I have the Gigabyte Winforce 3X right here running at 1100 MHz and 1500 MHz on the memory. I believe this is one of the most um, aggressively factory overclock cards, right after the Sapphire Toxic, which is 50 MHz higher on the boost clock and 100 MHz higher on the memory clock. I, I didn't do any overclocking because I believe this GPU I bought is being mined and why I bump up the clocks, it starts getting artifacts. One thing to watch out for when buying these OMD cards is that they probably have been a mining machine and just gotta confirm with the seller if they have been. I'm a bit lucky that I got my car in alright condition. It runs normally, it runs alright on normal clocks but once I overclock it, it starts getting artifact. But I think it's worth it because I got it for basically half price. So for the Witcher 3, we got an average of PS on Ultra with 47 FPS with Nvidia Heroic disabled because um, Heroic absolutely wrecks MD graphics card. Because if I never hit work, the FPS drops to like around 30-ish. The minimum is 42 FPS and the maximum is 64 FPS. For Far Cry 5, I'm running an Ultra and average is 44 FPS. Minimum is 36 and the maximum is 73. Moving on to Dying Light, one of my favorite games of all time. Just it's so fun, man. Just, yeah. Shooting zombies. Yep. So I got an average of um, 55, a minimum of 32, and a maximum of 82. This game actually fluctuates a lot with FPS when you go to different areas. But overall, a really great experience using this card. Next up is Mad Max, and this game actually runs really great with this card, despite its really amazing graphics. I thought it struggled a lot, but actually did not at all. We got average FPS of 71 FPS, minimum of 50, and a maximum of 84. Lastly, we got CSGO running at 169 FPS on average, and 245 on maximum, and 98 on minimum. This car is probably a bit overkill for this game, but eh, who cares. If you guys are amazed by the benchmark, so and you want to buy this car yourself, a good price I recommend is around 70 to 90 dollars. And that's when we know you get a good deal. Also, this car has been rebranded multiple times by AMD. The first car actually they actually released was, was the HD seventeen nine seventy, which is about fifteen percent slower than the R nine two eighty X. But then later they released HD seventeen nine seventy gigahertz edition, which is exactly the same thing as the H R nine two eighty X. And they also have the R nine three eighty X, which is only the R nine two eighty X but double the VRAM. So if you're on the hunt for a good deal, make sure you search all of these options up. Some, some of them might give you better price than the other one. Now, there are, there are obviously some flaw uh, about buying this card. And one of them is that this card is actually pretty old. It's already 5 years old already. But it still supports DirectX 12 and Vulkan, which is pretty amazing. Second flaw is it draws a lot of power compared to the newer generation cards. And thirdly, it runs pretty hot. I believe the reference cooler one, the reference on Q8X, can reach up to a temperature of 90 degrees. Which is okay, but it's not really acceptable. But if you get a good aftermarket cooler, I think you'll be fine. So the sum of this whole video is that this car is amazing, you know? It can match up to the performance of a GTX 1060, even though it's 5 years old. It's still the test of time well, and um, probably still be fine, a good car for the next 2 years. 
by the way, the um, currency in this video is quite messed up. Uh, I recorded my video showing New Zealand dollar, but I'm actually talking about US dollar throughout the whole video. But uh, just use the currency converter. Uh, also, please consider subscribing to my channel um, because this video takes a long time to make, and uh, I need motivation to continue making these kind of videos. This gets enough support. I might even do like a i7 uh, with this card. I can i7 build this card for like two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars. And yeah, just share this video around and thank you very much for watching.